Greetings folks, this is the F722 wing flight control board from Matec and Banggood. This is the latest in the specifically designed fixed wing flight control boards that can handle INAV and uh, beta flight and some of them are due pilot. Uh, so we've already got the F405 which is a um, favourite brilliant flight control board. We've got the F411 uh, which is the smaller version with a few less features. Uh, so this is the latest one, the F722. To look at the features of the F722, it's probably best to go to the uh, Matec website. That's a great thing about Matec, they always have brilliant documentation and uh, instructions for using these flight control boards. Oh, by the way, this was sent to me from the Australian warehouse for, for Banggood and uh, it arrived within two or three days, which is brilliant for my Australian viewers and Australian customers. The price works out pretty much the same. They just sort of include GST into the price and call it uh, GST free, but really you're still paying GST. But it's great to have the Australian postage option. All right, Maytech website, products, flight controllers, and here's the new F722 wing. So the first thing to notice is that it uses the uh, F7 processor, about which I really don't know anything at all. I don't think it's going to make much difference to the way it feels flying the model. Bigger numbers are better, I believe. <laughs> all the UARTs are inverted, so you can connect your receiver to any spare UART, or your GPS to any spare UART. It kind of frees up the connection options so the F722 has six servo outputs, uh, four BECs, can support up to 8S, which is an increase over the F405. Uh, has the black box S uh, micro SD. It also has uh, the facility to connect two cameras and you can switch between the, the two cameras. There are the ports down there. It also has a switch option there, the VSW, which means you can switch something on and off using that input. And it has the nicely filtered uh, BECs, a variable voltage BEC for servos, 5 amps, you can choose 5, 6 or high voltage 7.2 option which is great. Use the F722SE firmware and you can click on the link here and go straight to the firmware. Uh, there's the layout of the board and, and you can see how to achieve the different uh, servo voltages there by soldering across these pads. Uh, another thing is it, ha it has three pins for the ESC inputs whereas the F405 only has, only has two pins, so you sort of had to pull one of your pins out and uh, rearrange the plug basically. This way I think you can plug it straight in. Specs and manual, four analog to digital converters, so that's the battery voltage, the current, the RSSI, so you can do analog RSSI and airspeed as well. Video transmitter control by Zap Tramp and Smart Audio, not things that I ever use. All right, so let's now we'll look at the layout. And this shows you in detail what all the ports are, what you can use them for. And it's important to note this one here, the DFU button. Uh, to flash new firmware, you need to push and hold that button in before you connect it to your computer. Then let go when you're connected, and it'll uh, start up in DFU mode, which means you can flash new firmware. That's a trap that catches a few people out. Same size as the F405, bigger than the F411, of course. And the wiring, this shows you all the connections. Uh, you can connect a Bluetooth module, an OLED screen, uh, GPS here, video transmitter and two cameras. I'm keen to try that out. that will be fun switching from camera to camera. And the uh, six servo outputs, which is just the perfect amount for most planes. And the comparison between the three wing uh, flight control boards. Higher current, 132 amps. Higher voltage, 8S. Uh, six servos instead of seven for the F405 and five for the F411. Five UARTs, F405 has six, F411 has two. All right, so that's a bit about it for the website, but if you want any information, it's all in this little page here. Uh, all the information you could possibly want.
Now switching between the two cameras, we have well, the front row is the video transmitter, the second row is camera one, that's your normal camera on by default. The back row is the camera two and the center pin there is the VSW or the switchable voltage. So uh, there's nothing applied to that until you um, decide whether you want 5 volts or 9 volts on there and you have to put a little solder bridge across there. I've done 9 volts there so that means that pin there is switchable via the user 1 mode in uh, the iNav configurator and these two signal pins are switchable in the user 2 mode in the iNav configurator. Connecting up the board and if you go through your calibrations and everything and you find that in the mixer the, you get all these odd values in the a nonsensical mixer that means you have to reflash the firmware onto the flight control board so you go to firmware flasher uh, you have to disconnect the board and reconnect it in DFU mode uh, and you'll see up the top there it'll show up as DFU uh, choose the Matec F722SE choose the only available uh, firmware for it flash the board I'll sped through this a bit, it takes a bit longer than this. Then once that's done you can reconnect, do your calibrations, again I'll sped through this pretty quickly because it's very boring, do your setups, that's just setting the GPS up there and this is the user 1 which is that voltage switchable voltage switch and the user 2 is the uh, switchable cameras. Save and reboot and you're ready to put it on the plane and take it for a fly.